Hello children. I hope you're doing good. Today, I'm going to discuss a poem by Carolyn Wells. The title of the poem is How to Tell Wild Animals. Now, as you can see on your screens that the poem is actually about wild animals. There are pictures of many wild animals displayed on your screens that you must be familiar with. Before we start, I'll tell you briefly about the title of this poem. How to tell wild animals. In this title, the word tell basically means how to identify or to distinguish wild animals. The poet in this poem has given us different ways to identify different wild animals. All of us are not equally familiar with different kinds of wild animals. So for an inexperienced person, it's important to know what are the ways of distinguishing between different wild animals. These are different kinds of wild animals that you must have seen on your TV screens. There is a crocodile, a leopard, a tiger, a lion, hyenas, and a bear displayed in the picture. Why? You will come to know once we recite the poem, once we explain the poem. Now before we go into the explanation of the poem, I'll briefly tell you about the author of the poem. As I already told you, the author of the poem is Carolyn Wells, a female author. She was born in Rahway, New Jersey, the United States in 1862 and she died in 1942. She was known for humorous poetry and children's books. Carolyn Wells was a prolific writer. She wrote for about 40 years and as I already told you that her genre was humorous uh, poetry. She was noted for her humor. And she was a frequent contributor of nonsense verse and whimsical pieces to such little magazines as Jellet Burgess, The Lark, The Chap Book and magazines like that. So in this humorous, this is a humorous poem by Carolyn Wells. In this humorous poem, she tells us different ways of identifying wild animals if we encounter them. As I already told you, this is a humorous poem and suggests some dangerous ways to identify wild animals. Why dangerous? Because these animals are wild. Whenever we encounter them, there is going to be danger. And the way of identifying the wild animals definitely is going to be a dangerous one. Now the poet in this poem gives a beautiful description of the Asian lion and the Bengal tiger. Then she points out about the leopard and the bear. She describes the hyena for its smiling face and the crocodile for its tears. Now you know why these pictures were displayed in the second slide of this presentation. I told you, you will come to know once we explain the poem. So she's talked about all these wild animals in the poem. Then she also describes how a chameleon changes its color. Chameleon, you must be familiar with the reptile and it's known for changing color according to its surroundings. How to tell wild animals. Again, a beautiful poem by Carolyn Wells and also about strange habits and behaviors of some wild animals. Some of these wild animals that she has described in the poem. Now, how? what are the ways that she's given us to distinguish or identify these wild animals? She says, Asian lion is a large, towny beast with a fearful roar. She describes an Asian lion and calls it a towny beast and it has a fearful roar. A tiger, she's describing a tiger having black stripes on its yellow skin and the tiger is always ready to eat his victim. Then she goes on describing a leopard. Leopard has black spots on its skin. It's a beautiful animal but a very dangerous one as well. He leaps on his prey and eats it up. Then she describes a bear. Bear is one of these wild animals which can come to human colonies in search of food. And if he comes there, you might encounter a bear 
in your backyard and he hugs up a person and can put a person to death because of that tight hug. Then a crocodile. A crocodile is known for shedding tears while eating its victim. Basically, you might, you might have heard of the phrase crocodile shedding crocodile tears. What does that mean? While the crocodile is gobbling up its victim, it sheds tears. It's a biological process that's going on in its body while eating a victim. So the tears are actually fake tears. Then hyena. Hyena always looks like as if it's smiling. But it's a very dangerous wild animal as well. Chameleon. Chameleon can deceive you because it changes its color according to its surroundings. Now this is a strange world of some of these wild animals which have been described by the poet in this beautiful poem called How to Tell Wild Animals. The poet treats even ferocious means very dangerous animals and beasts with a coat of gentle but weird humor. Humor in this poem is gentle. She describes these animals. She compares them with different things in the poem. And then she also tells us how these animals actually eat up their prey. So the humor is gentle but weird. Both. Humor is created by various beasts of prey differently. So different prey is different beasts that she has described in the poem and the different ways that she, she has given us to identify those beasts create different types of humor in the poem. For example, the Bengal tiger, which is the, which is the tiger, basically the Indian tiger, she has described the Bengal tiger as being noble, but it eats you. So it's noble and it eats you up. So the, the humor is created in a weird but a gentle way. Then a leopard. A leopard has peppered spots. It is a beautiful looking animal. But what does a leopard do? It will only lep and lep again. Lep, she has used this instead of leap again. Why? Because she's used a poetic device called poetic license over here. Just to make it rhyme. The seemingly friendly hug of the bear. Bear will come and hug you. The hug will look like a friendly hug. But that hug leads to death of the person. So again, humor is created in a very different manner over here. The crocodile's weeping. The crocodile is weeping while eating its victim, but it's actually not weeping. It's eating up the victim. And hyena's merry but weird smile. Again, the hyena looks like as if it's smiling, but that is a deception. They deceive their victims and they eat them up. They attack them and they eat them up. So th these are different kinds of instances where the poet has created gentle but weird humor by explaining how these different wild animals eat you up or they attack you and try to eat you up. These are wild animals and she described them differently. Now why is she giving us ways of distinguishing or identifying these wild animals? There is a reason. What is the reason? Reason is that it's not easy as I already explained for an inexperienced person to distinguish beasts of prey. If I have never encountered these beasts of prey, how do I distinguish them? How do I identify them? So she's given you different ways of identifying. So a novice, an inexperienced person will be confused otherwise in distinguishing them. But if you go through this poem in detail, you will know how to identify these wild animals and how to distinguish them so you can protect yourselves as well. And in an inexperienced person may not be able to distinguish between a hyena and a crocodile. Hyenas are very deceptive. So are crocodiles and so are chameleons. They will attack their victims and they'll, they wear smiles and their different types of their behavior. They can kill the prey. They can kill the victim. So she's given us different, different types of identifying, different ways of identifying or distinguishing these wild animals which are very dangerous. Now, what does she say, say in this poem, if we summarize, if we sum it up, she says, if by chance you go to any forest in the east and if a huge terrible animal comes to you and you don't know what kind of an animal this is and this is how you identify the animal. If this animal comes towards you and it roars loudly and you find yourself terribly shaken and frightened, then you should know it is an Asian loin. 
Now, if you encounter another animal, again a ferocious animal, who has black stripes on yellow hide, yellow skin, and it comes towards you to eat you up, then you should immediately recognize that it is a Bengal tiger and it will come very fast towards you. Now, if you are strolling and you see whose hide is see an animal whose hide is covered with spots and the animal is very swift in jumping towards you, you should immediately know that it's a leopard. Now, if the leopard comes towards you, God forbid, it's so fast and so dangerous that even if you shout with pain, it's going to be of no use because it's going to eat you up. If you're just walking around in your yard and an animal meets you, if it comes towards you and tries to hug you tight, then this animal is a bear. And it's trust me, it's not a friendly hug that the bear gives you. The hug can kill you actually. Then how can you differentiate between crocodiles and hyenas again hyenas always have smiles on their faces it, the smiles actually they are deceptive smiles they're not smiles they look like smiles while they attack their victims and if you see tears coming out of its eyes then it's definitely going to be a crocodile another animal a chameleon it looks like a lizard but when you you know you don't see anything on the tree branch so it's probably changed its color to match the branch of the tree. And if you actually cannot see it there, it's a chameleon. So these are different ways of identifying and distinguishing these wild beasts. If you encounter any one of them, you'll immediately know what type of wild animal this is. So basically, this is a humorous poem. It has a, it has a beautiful message. It revolves around dangerous ways of identifying wild animals. So, but we we should know that it's always better to stay away from forests, stay away from habitats of wild animals because they are wild and whenever they see us, they might attack us and kill us. But if we at least know how to recognize these animals, we might be in a position to save ourselves. That's what the poem is about. Now, there are certain different uh, difficult words used by the poet in the poem. Uh, you can see this word towny beast means a brownish yellow beast now how it is to be used in a sentence the line is towny beast or we must get scared of this towny beast again roars roaring means giving out a long loud sound like the roaring of a lion discerning means seeing strolling you wandering or a, br a brisk walk is also called a stroll Novice means a beginner or an inexperienced person who does not have knowledge of some particular things. Now this is the central idea of the poem. The poem How to Tell Wild Animals by Carolyn Wells, as I already told you, revolves around the dangerous ways to identify the animals. Poet has tried to give us ways of distinguishing these animals but in a humorous way. The poet also suggests that it's very easy it's very sorry, risky to be in such close proximity to these wild animals. It's easy to distinguish them if you have gone through this poem, but it's very risky to be in close proximity, as I already told you, to these wild animals. These are beasts, these are wild beasts, so it's always better to maintain a distance with them. But this poem is also very educative, as it tells us about various features of wild animals. It tells you what a lion looks like, what a tiger looks like, what a leopard looks like, what are the different features of these wild animals. So it's an educative poem which gives us different ways of identifying these wild animals and it also creates, the poet has also created a lot of humor in the poem. So that's the central idea of the poem. There are a lot of poetic devices used in the poem. I'll explain some of them here. As soon as he, it has leapt on you, he will only lap and lap again. And this, this lap and lap has been used in one line. And another line starts with T. T is the chameleon you see. Now, in the first instance where she has used lap instead of leapt. And in the second stanza, she has again used lap instead of leap. In the third instance, the line should have begun with it instead of t so the poetic device here used here or the type technique that the poet has used is known as poetic license poetic license means giving different linguistic variations to words in order to create 
uh, make the poem interesting or sometimes the poets do this just to bring a uh, rhythm or a rhyme in the poem another poetic device used in the poem is alliteration you can see alliteration which has already been explained to you repetition of consonant sounds in the beginning of a word in the same line roaming around r r sound is being repeated so it's an instance of alliteration in another instance lep and lep l l sound is being repeated then who hugs you very very hard so v the sound of v is repeated so it's again an instance of alliteration a nobis might non plus so n sound is repeated which is an instance of alliteration so those are the poetic devices used in the poem children i hope this explanation is useful to you and you have understood the poem thank you